Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 9 Japanese Cruiser Ibuki. It has 10 main guns, 8 secondary guns, 66 AA guns, 16 torpedoes, a top speed of 35 knots, total health 39,000. For my modules, British crit chance to main battery, increased main battery accuracy and rate of fire, lower chance of flood and fire, faster rudder shift, and concealment. For my commander, situation awareness, faster turret traverse, superintendent, Demolition Expert and Concealment again. We are on the map Land of Fire. And this game and the next one, which will be on Ocean in the Ibuki, happened last patch. But I wouldn't change the build at all. I would still have a Demolition Expert focused Japanese cruiser. Because that is a huge advantage. And I like variety in my game. I play every single line. And every single line has its strengths and its weaknesses. The changes to the skills allow for you to have more variety, and that's what I like. So an enemy Mayhan is approaching B, trying to stop the friendly as he's capturing B, and I'm gonna try and stop the Mayhan from preventing the capture. So we're doing a little bit of damage here and there. 1,000 here, 1,500, but nothing in the amount that I was looking for. He's holding his fire, he's running away. I don't blame him. There are two cruisers and a destroyer in the center. That tells me that there's nobody else to back him up. Most of the enemy appears to be on the eastern flank. As I speak, one enemy is on A, preventing the friendly destroyer from capturing it. So where do I go from here? Well, there's a lot on the eastern side of the map. We do successfully have a two to one capture advantage. And it looks like it was an enemy destroyer at A. We now could theoretically have all three. So, I think I want to support the main front. We can allow the enemy to make mistakes. They have to press in order to capture bases or they're going to lose. And that's really what you should go for. Don't overextend. Exploit mistakes made by the enemy. Now this Mayhan shows himself again. That is a mistake. He's firing for whatever reason. Hopefully... The New Orleans can punish. It's not an ideal shot for me. 14 kilometers on an enemy destroyer is not a high percentage shot. I'm going to choose to hold my fire. There is more value in my ship being invisible and could possibly be anywhere on the map. I think we're doing pretty good at sea, so I'm going to head over to A. That's the front where the enemy ships are pushing. We can support the team. Strengthen their numbers. We have a, a destroyer, a cruiser, and a battleship. Pretty balanced flank, right? So this Mogami gets there just as the Hatsaharu successfully captures A. He is preventing us from benefiting from the tick, but now he has to go through the whole process of recapturing it. Hatsaharu, of course, is escaping. He would not like to die to a Mogami. This is pre-Mogami nerves, so... It's very deadly, it has very fast turret traverse, probably has great range, you name it, the Mogami can perform it. I have received some requests to play the Mogami in the new patch, 100% agree, I have to see for myself just how bad it is. And that'll probably happen sometime next week. I don't have a real timetable, there's so many things I want to do. Monday morning, I will have a commander basically talk. Because I get a lot of questions, why did you do this, why did you do that? And I just want to lay it out there for my value structure on every single skill and what I look to perform in that ship. So here's the Mogami, he's backing up, showing a side. Didn't think I had a good angle, but we do. We incapacitate and we prevent him from capturing. I could swap to AP. But I really would like to set him on fire. That would be an advantage to our team. He backs up just enough. Maybe could have had a better aim, but we do get that fire. 3,200 points of damage. Very minimal amount of shells making contact with the ship. And is he gonna... I think he just avoided those torpedoes. Trapped. The Boiskavica, of course, is showing himself. The Nagato is showing himself. Not that he can hide himself being a battleship, but you get the idea. We pretty much know where the enemy is on this flank. And I'm just continuing to move forward. 
The Megami is the most reasonable choice. He sent out torpedoes. However, we are not going to fall for that. We have the benefit of our aircraft scouting it out. And we're just going to put pressure on the Megami. The fire's out, so we put it out, and this fire should stick. 8,700 points of damage. The HE for the Japanese cruisers is so good, it's really hard at times to swap to AP. But I considered it, but I didn't pull the trigger. I want to get the back guns involved. And since we got the back guns involved, oh, there's an enemy destroyer over here. Interesting. I'm going to stick with HE as long as an enemy destroyer or two are showing themselves. He's benefiting from the friendly scouting. I'm going to send my torpedoes towards the smoke and I only had access to one the enemy Mogami incapacitates and finally destroys the other tube on the starboard side of my ship this may hands pretty close why not use our gun cooldown on it and we do some pretty good damage on the may hand come on Kagito can we keep him alive come on gun reload it looks like he's burning maybe yeah he's burning and he dies to our fire yes and the Kagito is still alive. Torpedo systems are coming our way, but they don't have the range. Something's trying to capture B. I'm going to go after this. It has to be a destroyer, obviously, because you see the smoke. We're going to try and take him out, prevent the capture. And it's pretty convenient when you move. Oh, we got one torpedo strike on something. There's nothing in that area. Maybe it's the Mogami. Maybe it's a destroyer. I don't know. Oh, here we go. We have the benefit of the aircraft carrier scouting out the torpedoes. There's no risk that we might accidentally run into them, and we've dropped off the detection. This destroyer is completely blind. We have an advantage. We're going to try and keep it. Can we get close enough to detect him and fire? Will he bail out? These are all questions that need to be answered. Hopefully they'll be answered shortly. We lost complete control over every point, by the way. I think the Hatsaharu is trying to recapture A, and we need to take this guy out and capture B. I'm it. There's nobody in B. I take a quick look. Oh, the Megami. Very low. Just a random shell will take him out. So he is definitely our next target. Oh, the Kagero is detected. We expect torpedoes. Big shot. 9,800 points of damage. Remember, the torpedoes will be coming, so we have to angle ourselves. Come on! Reload, reload, reload! Don't get away, Kagito! He doesn't have smoke, obviously. That was his smoke. And we just lead and fire, and we take out the Kagito. Two salvos. Pretty good. I'll take that. Looks like the Mogami might have died, though, so we don't have to worry about him. The Hatsaharu, great job capturing A. Looks like they've taken out both the Nagato and the Boiskavitsa. Can I avoid the torpedoes? Can I stay in the capture so I can complete the capture of B? Or will I accidentally go outside of it? It looks like, yes, we're able to stop just short. Look how low most of the enemy is. We actually have a shot on both the York and the other enemy cruiser. So why not fire? It's not a huge deal. We're scouted by aircraft. I think I did a pretty good lead. Oh, oh, it looks good. Is it going to be enough? Yeah. We take out the York. The Ibuki is all that remains on the eastern side of the map, it appears. I'm going to try one salvo. Maybe I'll get him. He's maneuvering. But we only need a couple shells, if that, to make contact. And is it going to be enough? No. We only land one. I'm going to try one more time. I don't think I'm going to be able to clear the island. But why not? There's only three enemy ships left in the game. Yeah. Not enough. Okay. So, I love games like this where I could be all around the map. I really do like countering the enemy's strategy. And for me, I started out near B, just protecting the Kagiro, giving him the best chance of success. We were able to shoo away the Mayhan. And then I felt like A was vulnerable to a counterattack from the enemy. Moved forward, put some harassing fire on the enemy Mogami, sent out torpedoes, hit someone, and finally, that enemy destroyer, who was barely unable to kill the friendly Kagito, died to our hand. We come back, 
We take out the enemy Kagito. And then just finish off that York. Because why not? He's out in the open. He can't do anything. The enemy recaptures A. They have a 2 to 1 base advantage over us. We have a good idea where the enemy aircraft carrier is. It looks like our friendly aircraft carrier is going to send what should be the final attack, especially with the assistance of the friendly destroyer. As far as the eastern side, I felt like, yeah, he wanted to bail out. He wanted to get out of the area. We found him in the open. We're ready to fire. He was looking right at us, but we have a huge health advantage. I lead the target. All guns. All I would like to do is just finish him off and... Oh, not enough. We should have elevated the gun slightly more. We should have compensated for his counter movement. But he's still low. One shot. Just send out the front guns and we're chasing him down. Is this enough? Yeah. One shell disperses right into the enemy Ibuki. So what's left is an enemy destroyer on A and an enemy aircraft carrier on the other side of the map. I'm going to try and get there. Probably not going to get there, though. Let's see how successful that North Carolina is around the enemy destroyer. It would be really useful for the friendly aircraft carrier to keep the enemy destroyer scouted. I would love to see how much health remains, though, on that aircraft carrier. We're almost in range. I felt like the two friendly cruisers will recapture C. And, oh, nice. The North Carolina takes out the enemy destroyer as he probably attempted a torpedo strike. And we get in range to see the Ranger. Range of the Ranger. He's barely alive. Looks like he's either burning or flooding. The Hatsuharu should be able to just gun him down. And this game felt pretty smooth. Every single situation transitioned into the next one. And the next one and the next one. There wasn't a lot of wasted motion. And those games are pretty rare. Most of the time I'm just sailing looking for a target any target at all that i can take out for my team so let's see how we did i think we got four kills most of those kills were on low health targets though yes four kills one torpedo strike base defense 400,000 credits earned we did 2491 base xp that hatsaharu right behind us good job we did around 60,000 points of damage you know it's exactly what i predicted very low damage but we were able to finish off destroyers and take out those cruisers that tried to run away. Not going to let you run. The next game is going to be the Ibuki on Ocean. And you're going to see something a little bit different. We are going to be initially in a forward pushing position. Same exact build. Demolition. Concealment. Faster turret traverse. This enemy Fabuki shows up because the friendly destroyer is scouting him. So I want to impact this engagement. I don't want it to be 1v1, and we do just that. We incapacitate a couple modules. Looks like his propulsion was knocked out. And we do a little bit of damage. Now the friendly destroyer is taking dive bombers from the enemy aircraft carrier. And it's a Benson. So he has an inherent 1v1 advantage over the Fubuki. I don't know why the Fubuki is engaging with his guns. We miss with one salvo. Come on, let's land a nice one on this guy. We should easily take him out. I was very aware of the Des Moines. Very aware. We land one for 651 points of damage. Ah! And he disappears because he held his fire. He realized this is a disadvantage. I should not fire. Now the Des Moines, for those who don't know, it's a tier 10 US cruiser. It has probably the fastest rate of fire for any cruiser or battleship. It has velocity that is subpar, honestly, compared to the German or the Japanese cruiser. At really long range, it's at a disadvantage, and whoa, someone did a huge shot on the Des Moines. We're going to try and engage this Fubuki. For some reason, he's firing again, and we get 2,700 points of damage on him. Guns are already ready to go. He's so far away that by the time the shells make contact with the ship, we're ready to go. And it looks like that Des Moines is running. Don't blame him. Is this enough? Is this a good lead? Uh, we get a little bit more. 545. Ah, uh, and he held his fire. Come on, make another mistake. Just show yourself. It's okay. 
It's not like the entire team is trying to fire on you. Please do not engage with your guns as a Japanese destroyer at the beginning of the game. You have to have a situation in your... He's really firing again. He fired again. He's not in smoke. This is just a huge disadvantage. So we're going to try and punish. We're getting into a range where we can pretty easily land it. And yes, we take out steering and we do about 2k damage. Someone sets him on fire, I believe. I don't think it was us. And yes, your fate is sealed. Who is going to finish you? We do. Nice. It's the expected outcome. You just don't want to do that. You want to run. He was not going to be detected as long as he held his fire and ran. He had to see all the battleships, all the cruisers on this flank. There's no reason you would fire in that scenario. Now, this Des Moines, he did not fire. He just doesn't have good concealment. And at this extreme range, the battleships are able to punish. That's part of the reason why I love concealment builds on pretty much every single ship. I have the first shot advantage. I'm not going to take this harassing fire, even though I'm 17 kilometers away from the enemy. Now I'm overextending a lot, but I'm risking my ship to provide spotting information for my team. And I think that's really important. Now, if the Des Moines is firing on me, that's a mistake. You're just so low. There's no reason to fire. He is using his heal, which is good, but if I have to choose between a Montana and a Des Moines at 10,000 hit points, I'm going to fire on the Des Moines. Now, let's just look at the risk. Okay, the Montana, the Iowa, the Izumo, and yes, there's a Yamato on the enemy team. Could all fire on me. We sustain a huge shot from some battleship. And real quickly, I realize, you know what? I'm going to let my team scout for us. I'm going to pull back. I don't want to die prematurely. And Ocean is one of those maps where the meta is pretty much locked down. You're going to have two large fleets moving towards the enemy base. How can you counter or attack the enemy base? Pretty much decides this matchup. It's very rare that I play an Ocean game where every single ship is destroyed. It's just very rare. You can find your token guy running away. And this map was a source of frustration before they put in place all of the anti-draw mechanics. I can't tell you how many times I would play the map and it would end in a draw, even though it would be like 7 to 1. The random ship would just be hiding. So instead of pushing the flank, I'm going to try and defend our base. There's an enemy Yamato, an enemy Kutuzev. And what else is out there? Probably a destroyer. Most likely he's leading the way. There's also a couple more cruisers. So there's a lot of danger. And I gotta be very careful. My concealment is pretty good, around 10 kilometers. So the lead ship is about 1.5 kilometers away from detecting me. I'm gonna send out my torpedoes. I get ragged on a lot, I understand. Why don't you use your torpedoes, Notzer? You know what? You're not using your torpedoes. Oh, you know what would help, Notzer, is use your torpedoes. Well, I know, okay? It's a weakness in my game. And I would like to correct it. So we sent a narrow spread against the enemy. Since they're right on the edge of detection, I wanted to shoot first. And this Kutuzev is going to avoid friendly torpedoes. He fires on our position. They have pretty good angling. Not an ideal AP target yet. And I don't think my torpedoes are going to make contact because that was the ship I was going for. And yeah, the direction that he ended up going doesn't work out for us. He's clearly able to see the torpedoes. Maybe we can hit someone else who's not aware. But I'm going to still use my gun cooldowns every single time. It looked like, I don't know if you noticed that, oh, oh, we got the Yamato on the nose, caused a flood, going to force out damage control. I don't know if you notice. There are enemy aircraft trying to get to our aircraft carrier, so I'm going to try and cut them off, squeeze them against the border, and use my defensive fire. Now we've selected with our cursor the primary target, and I turned on my defensive fire. That's really all I can do. I'm still going to focus with my guns. You should too. But yeah, make sure you work in the cursor targeting, especially if you're trying to run with that 
manual AA targeting skill. That Kudasev's pretty low, so we're going to keep him as our target until he's dead. Or we're dead. We haven't sustained any fire, though. It looks like most of the enemy is trying to take out the friendly destroyer. We did lose a friendly cruiser. I don't know what he was doing. Looked like he was sailing directly at the enemy. And I think I was able to take out the Kudasev. Is it enough? Yes, Kudasev is taken out. Now, there's another Kudazo under fire from the Friendly Destroyer. We're going to see if we can help take that out, too. And we are taking fire from an enemy Mogami. Remember, this is pre-0.5.3. 100% he has the range increase. He has the faster turret traverse. So we got to be careful. Man, he's doing big shots on us. We're going to use our heal. Either we're going to finish off the Kudazo. Okay, we finished off the Kudazo. The Benson is still alive, and he's still avoiding damage. Good job, Benson. The enemy Yamato is trying to capture our base, but obviously he can't as long as a friendly's there. I bump into the border. Ah, get off the border. I don't want to bump into the border, okay? I want to play this legit. Oh, nice. The Benson was able to get his torpedoes on the enemy battleship and take him out. Great job, Benson. So now there's a Mogami out there somewhere. Most of our team is on the enemy base, doing a great job trying to fight them off. Probably not going to successfully capture until the three enemy ships that are in range are taken out. And that Izumo is about to die. So my primary objective is to just try and work on this Mogami. That enemy Iowa appears to still be headed towards our base. So we need to be careful, obviously. And if I could take out the Megami before the Iowa even is interested in engaging me, it will work out much better for my team's success. Even though I think it's pretty much locked up, I really like trying to perfect a strategy. So the Megami's in range. He's showing a lot of his side. We're going to engage him. His guns are not pointed at us. We do 5.4 and we cause a fire. His aircraft are actually in range. I think, yeah, he's rotating his guns. We are now the primary target. And I felt, hmm, we've got a fire. It's stuck. Let's try AP. We do another big salvo. The enemy Kagero is here. The Benson is into smoke. Myself and probably the friendly battleship are scouting for the Benson. So this strategy is 100% sound. And of course, our AP not very effective when the target is maneuvering. So I'm just like, eh. Let's go back to HE. Let's stick to it. And that Kagito is headed straight for my ship and the Benson. I was considering, should I use my gun cooldown? And I choose to use it. And of course, we spot the Kagito. There's torpedoes in the water. I think we'll be able to avoid the first set. I bet you this Kagito probably wants to use his torpedoes. So I would really prefer to not allow him to do that. He thinks because he's so neutral, we won't land our shot, but we do. And guess what? Oh, we're a Japanese cruiser. So we send our back torpedoes and he runs right into him. We take out the enemy Kagito. Looks like the Mogami was taken out in the little exchange. Now it's just the Iowa, the Montana, and wherever the aircraft carriers. We have HE loaded. We're getting some fires. We're very close to capping as a team. So this is just a bonus. I don't think I'll be able to kill him before the cap. The team did a great jump. That Benson did a great jump. I think he died actually right at the end. And that's unfortunate, but there's no way I could have successfully helped defend without him. We earned four kills, first blood, two torpedo strikes, nearly 400,000 credits earned. We did 1,963 base XP. The Yamato is the only one that beat us. And funny enough, the Benson wasn't even in the top six, even though he took so much attention away from me. We did around 70,000 points of damage, so just a solid game. I hope you enjoyed both of these Ibuki games. One is an assault position, the other one is a defense position. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.